Now let us discuss about C scan discrete Euling algorithm. So C stands for circular. So circular scan discrete Euling algorithm. Uh, here we have to start from read write head and move the head to the final end, servicing requests along the way. So here also we have to start from the read write head and move the head towards the final end of the disk okay so in the meantime we will uh, get several requests so we have to service all the requests and after reaching to the final end let's see the theory when the head reaches to the final end it immediately returns to the beginning end without servicing any request on the return trip so after reaching to the final end again we have to move back to the starting end without servicing any requests and after reaching the uh, starting end then we need to serve the remaining requests okay let us solve the problem with the help of an example so let the queue contains uh, these requests 98 183 37 122 14 124 65 67 we can call them as cylinders or tracks here the initially read write head starts at the cylinder 53 the total cylinders are 200 so total here we have 200 cylinders so we have 200 cylinders from 0 to 199 so re here the read write head starts at 53 so let 53 cylinder is at this location so what we have to do we have to start from the read write head and we need to move towards the final end of the disk by servicing all the requests so here what is the request here so after 53 we have 65 so let 65 is uh, at this location so we need to serve that request 65 so we need to access that data in that uh, location 65 and after that we have 67 let 67 cylinder is at this location so next 65 67 cylinder data will be accessible and after that we have 98 98 so let 98 cylinder is at this location so next 98 cylinder data will be accessed uh, and after 98 we have 122 so let 122 cylinder is at this location so you access the content of the 122 next we have 124 so you access let 124 is at this location uh, access the content of 124 so next we have 183 so one eight, let 183 cylinder is at this location so you access the content of 183 and here we have to reach us to the final end of the disk so what is the final end here 199 so we have to reach us to the final end of the disk so now we are at now the read write head is at 199 that is the last cylinder and after that what we have to do we have to move back to the beginning of the disk here what is the beginning cylinder here 0 so uh, again come uh, moves back to the starting end starting end so now we are at beginning end 0 cylinder so now we need to serve the remaining requests from 0 to 53 okay why because initially we have started from 53 and 53 to 199 all those requests are serviced now process the request from 0 to 53 0 to 53 here we have 14 so first uh, uh, access the data in uh, 14 cylinder 14 cylinder and after that what is the next cylinder 37 let that 37 cylinder is at this location 37 so you access the data at 37 cylinder okay so if you observe the queue so all the requests are serviced okay uh, now let us calculate how many head movements are needed how many total number of head movements that are needed okay uh, so let us do the calculation so here we are starting from 53 and we are going to the last cylinder that is 199 so we have to subtract 53 from 199 total number of head movements must be positive value so don't do the subtraction 53 minus 199 it will give negative value so 199 minus 53 and next uh, we have to come back to the beginning end of the disk but during this time we are not servicing any requests so there is no need of any subtraction and after that from 0 to 37 so subtract 
0 from 37. Okay. So 199 minus 53 means 199 minus 53 means 9 minus 3 means 6. 9 minus 5 means 4. 9 minus 3 means 6. 9 minus 5 means 4. 1. So 146 plus 37 is nothing but 7 plus 6, 3. 4 plus 3 plus 8, 1. So total number of head movements that are needed are 183. So this is about circular scan disk scheduling algorithm.